Hello everyone. This is a tutorial video of a small version of a shape invented by sax playing comp nerd. He called it an icosahedron with diagonal polygons. It's an icosahedron and each of the vertices is occupied by a pentagonal dipyramid. To make this shape, you'll need 12 subunits that look like this. I've made 11, and let me make now the 12th. To do so, you start off with a pent pentagon, and then wind uh, a pentagon until the edge length is six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I've wound this one so that it's a mountain. I'm now going to wind another one that's a valley, starting off with the same pent but now having it come up on the edges rather than down on the edges and circulating in the same direction. Basically we need two pieces that are of opposite polarity when you put them together. <clears throat> Again, six on a side, four, five, six. And then for the bottom piece, you're going to remove one, two, three, four magnets from each corner. Like that. You can see that I didn't finish this one. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, now that has six on all of the five sides. Then you put these two together with the corners of this complete pentagon fitting into the holes that you dug out by removing magnets on the other one. just like that. So what you end up with is five corners on this that have four magnets each and we're going to put um, struts coming out from each of those corners. And to make those struts you take a card and you'll need two, four, six, eight, ten stacked rings of eight magnets each. So cut off five double rings and then remove a magnet from each of the top rings like that and then snap the two magnets together to form Four, and those will connect up with the pentagon unit that we made earlier. Do this with the same, do the same thing with all five double rings. And then place these double rings against, so these four magnets where you remove the one, go up against these four. And they should, if you got polarity right, go just like that. And once those are connected, then squish together the rest of the piece to make it straight. And that's how you make the 
subunits. The next step then is just to assemble the shape. And that's done using a technique that I learned from Magnanot, where you put two of these together and then line them up with each other and then push them together. And that makes one complete um, edge. We'll do the same thing to assemble the base of the icosahedron. And that is the shape. You can also build this in the larger size that was built by a sax playing comp nerd by winding two pentagons as before, but this time with edge length of eight instead of six. And again, also with opposite polarity. And then you remove nine magnets from each corner. Like that. And then you match up the bottom with the top as before. And then these quad units are used to connect up with the with the edges of the shape. You can also make the edges longer if you want 